Well, good morning, everybody. As you can see, these are very overripe bananas. And the best thing I recommend when you have overripe bananas, you use it for cooking. Like today, I'm making a creamy banana cream pie, but we're using a graham cracker crust today. Sometimes you can use a regular crust. I'm using graham cracker today. It's really delicious and yummy. I'm adding in three fourths cup of sugar. Okay. Cornstarch makes it, it thickens up your pie. I'm adding in three fourths cup of cornstarch. What is a quarter cup of cornstarch? Excuse me, folks. Okay. This cornstarch is going to make the pie really thick, the cream. This is a cream pie. Made a little bit different than pudding. Not, mu not, not much of a difference, folks. I have to be honest about it. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do is mix this together. Where's my spoon? I had it with me a minute ago. Here it is. Mix this together. We, we don't want to lose anything. Now, the next thing I want to do is add in my milk. Two and one half cup of milk. Now, what? I don't have enough milk. We have plenty. Not to worry. Okay. One. Yeah, it's very humid out today, folks. It's just been this way all summer. We don't know what's going on with the weather. It's just been a crazy summer. Okay. Just enough milk. Use whole milk, folks, when you make a, when you make a cream pie. Now, the next thing I want to do is put in my vanilla because I'm a dumb lady and I might forget to do that. Just mix everything together before I add in my vanilla. I'm adding in uh, two teaspoons of vanilla. Here we go. This is going to get a flavor. Now, if you don't have bananas, folks, do you know this could become a banana, uh, a vanilla cream pie? Do you know that? A vanilla cream pie. That's really good. I should really make that sometime. Okay. Let me put the top on here because we don't get along too well, me and vanilla. Okay. Now, we're going to mix this together, stove this, and get it thickened, and we'll be back in a few minutes. We're going to put about half of the mixture into the egg yolks. Three egg yolks, folks. Mix this together. Keep mixing. Yeah, we want it to look nice and yellowy. Now, we're going to put this back into the uh, rest of the mixture. And now, folks, keep this in mind. This is egg. Make sure you cook this at least 10 minutes. You put it on low to medium heat. Mix this together. You see the difference already? Okay, now, the next thing I have to do is add in the bananas. Two ripe, overripe bananas goes in here. Okay. Mix this together. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to put this back on the stove, cook it for about 10 minutes. We're going to put it into the graham cracker crust. Look how beautiful it's coming. Now, like I, like I said, you could use any kind of crust for this, plain crust. But today we're going to use a, a graham cracker crust. A lot of cream pies, folks, keep this in mind, is made with graham cracker. Now, when, you, when you put your eggs in here, the yolks, make sure you cook it for 10 minutes on low heat because you don't want to eat with raw egg. Look how beautiful that is. It looks so delicious and yummy. Now we're going to chill this for one hour and we'll be back and we'll cream it. Have a delicious, wonderful banana cream pie. Oh, bananas loaded also with a lot of potassium. Did you know that? It's about out of whipped cream also. Okay. Next thing is we're going to garnish it. We want it to look really attractive. A lot of restaurants garnish, you know, their cream pies. They put the, like bananas on top and make it look really pretty. Here we go. Here we go. And one in the middle. And here we have a delicious, wonderful banana cream pie. You use graham cracker crust. You can use a plain crust. From Devoy Tom Country Kitchen, have a great day. Please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.